is frosty in Toronto today and I put on so many layers that I was sweating by the time I got home because I walked up the stairs with my groceries. Just a tiny grocery haul today. I bought some bananas, some strawberries, a big bag of coconuts, a couple of cans of tomato soup, and three bags of frozen shrimp. The use next basket is working out so well. It's only been a couple of weeks, but I've gotten into the routine of filling it on Fridays and I really enjoy rummaging through my cupboards and seeing what to take out to put into the basket. It is very snack heavy because hubby and I go through snacks very quickly. I'm just about to do the dishes and I need to switch sponges and I'm finally going to use this cloth that I purchased from Halifax. I'm so excited. It's been on my shelf for ages. I just keep forgetting about it. So let me see how this goes. Wetting it for the first time. I know this is very exciting, <laughs> riveting vlog footage. Oh. towel worked out really well. I just have it hanging on the side of my sink here, drying out. It will take some getting used to because of course it feels different in the hand compared to the sponges that I was using before, but I really like it so far. Oh, and I wanted to mention I got new sleep sets. I got two new sleep sets. These sets are really warm and cozy and they were on sale. I think they were like $20 each set, which is even cheaper than the sets that I bought at Shein. I got the set that I'm wearing now, which is my black set. And I also got a red set that has black and red checkered pants and the top is red. They'll be too warm for the summertime, but for the winter, they're just like cozy and perfect. One of my Shein sets is all stretched out and I'm going to let that go. But I think the other ones are still Still okay for now. I'll continue rotating through those, but I am loving how cozy this set is, especially since it's so cold today. It's been a couple of weeks since Vlogmas, and I spent the first two weeks of January not wanting to do anything. But on Saturday, I started feeling the motivation again. Saturday was the 13th, so yeah, the first two weeks of January zero motivation. I did start my 5,000 piece puzzle. I looked back at my 3,000 piece puzzle and I did that at a pretty leisurely pace, but I still got it done in two weeks. I've been working on this for over two weeks now. I think I started on the first or the second and I'm not that close to being done. I don't think I can do puzzle chats while working on this particular puzzle because it just takes more concentration and focus, but I will kind of like go through the pieces. I actually do love the process of picking out the pieces and I've been using our trays to um, gather and sort the pieces. So this has been a really nice part of my day, even though this puzzle is the most challenging puzzle I've ever done. And it also feels a bit overwhelming at times, but I know I'll get it done. I wanted to also mention that I have unofficially quit caffeine. By that I mean I don't drink tea or coffee in the morning anymore. Instead I've been drinking herbal infusions. You can't see the liquid inside but today I am drinking a lavender infusion which is my first time drinking 100% lavender infused hot water. Usually I mix the lavender in with something, but this is all lavender and I actually really like it. I don't think I would want to drink it every single day, but once in a while it's very nice. I like it a lot. In terms of caffeine withdrawal symptoms, I think mine were pretty mild, although the first week of January I did feel pretty horrendous on a couple of days because I was also on my period, so I had my period headache as well as my caffeine withdrawal headache. So Wednesday was not a good day for me. I would say even like Tuesday, Thursday maybe. And I essentially had a headache for the entire first week of January, whereas my period headache usually only lasts two or three days. So that wasn't a great way to start the year and it was probably why I wasn't feeling all that motivated either. It's January 17th now, which means I haven't had caffeine in 
16 days, I am past my caffeine withdrawal symptoms. And once again, I am just referring to tea and coffee. Of course, I still eat chocolate and I had some really delicious treats that of course I chose like all tea flavors when I met with my friend and we sat in a cafe and I had a kinkaku daifuku which was essentially a sesame flavored mochi we decided to get some treats on the way home so I chose two treats and of course I chose both tea flavored even though I had avoided ordering a tea flavored treat when we were sitting at the cafe and I also opted for a non-caffeinated beverage but I love tea flavored stuff so I ended up choosing another daifuku to share with hubby this one was matcha and I also had a jasmine cream puff the jasmine I guess could have been non-caffeinated but it could have been a jasmine tea which is made with black tea or green tea so there could have been caffeine in that I'm not a hundred percent sure and and then we went to this place that sells croissants in the shape of cubes really interesting looking pastries and then they are filled with a light and delicious cream of course i ended up choosing two that were tea flavored i chose the earl grey and the matcha so there was a lot of tea flavored treats that went into my system that day and i did have a little bit of trouble sleeping that night but oddly enough when i was experiencing my caffeine withdrawal symptoms on two of those days i actually felt Felt the symptoms as though I had drank too much caffeine so that was really strange for me I had the heart palpitations and I also had the jitteriness I wasn't expecting that that kind of threw me for a loop but fortunately I didn't really have any of the um, irritability moodiness and that sort of thing I have around half my steps right now but I don't really want to go out again it's just such a production to put on all of those layers before going outside and then having to come home and take everything off and put everything away again. I've already done that once today and I think I think I'm going to go to the gym today. I haven't been to the gym since before the pandemic. We have a gym in our building and hubby uses it all the time, but I'm not a big fan of the gym. I've probably talked about this many times. I just don't like it. I find it really boring, but I'm feeling some draw to the gym today because of the weather. So it might be a nice change in my routine to go to the gym and spend maybe half an hour on the elliptical to get my final steps in. I'm actually looking forward to it. So I'm going to do my puzzle for a tiny bit longer and then hit the gym. wasn't too bad. I did half an hour of elliptical and I will say it did go by pretty slowly. I find walking goes by much faster for me. Even if I'm out for an hour, an hour and a half, the time flies by. Whereas my time on the elliptical it dragged out a little bit even though I was listening to a podcast. I will say though that for today, given the weather and given my resistance to putting on all the layers and going out again, it was definitely the right choice. I do like having a little bit of movement after my first meal because usually that's when my lethargy sets in. But when the weather gets warm again and I can zip out without putting on all of the layers, I will definitely enjoy my time outside. I made risotto for dinner. It looks so good. Hubby says it's delicious. There's shrimp at the bottom, but I pan fried the shrimp first. So it cools right down while the risotto is cooking because the risotto takes at least 30 minutes. So what I did was I put the shrimp in the bottom of the bowl and then I ladled the hot risotto on top to kind of like reheat the shrimp. So that's why you don't see the shrimp. And I also used those truffle sauce packets 
that we got from Montreal. You can taste the truffle? Mm -hmm. I find those packets don't taste super <clears throat> truffly, but they're still nice, nice and creamy. So this is an extra creamy risotto because of that addition. So I'm going to give it a try. I'll try the risotto by itself first. Mm. And here is one of the shrimp. Oops. Mmm, it's really good. There's extra flavor because for the stock, I use the juices from Hubby's sous vide chicken. So extra, extra flavorful, really good. Dinner was really delicious and it is now time for dessert. My sister told me about this flavor of Oreo chocolate peanut butter pie and they are so delicious. So I'm gonna have a couple of those for dessert. They look kind of mangled, <laughs> but they're very, very tasty. some teff porridge for my first meal today and I'm just gonna mix it all up. This is a seed that's a traditional grain of Ethiopia. It's a teeny teeny tiny seed and I would say the texture once cooked is like chia seed pudding but of course it's hot and you do have to cook it whereas chia seeds you just have to soak. I don't eat it every day because it does take a while to prepare, about 20 minutes or so. So I'll just make it when I have a pocket of time and I don't have any meetings and the like. But it just looks like this. It's porridgey. Mmm very satisfying. It's got a bit of a bran flavor and scent. So if you like bran, which I really do, you might enjoy this. It's very nutritious and very, very filling. I just started adding coconut to it recently and it is so good with coconut. There's something about the texture and the taste that paired with the teff is fantastic. I think this is traditionally prepared as a savory dish in Ethiopia but I've never actually had it as a savory dish. I really love it as like a sweet porridge, so that's how I've been eating mine. A little goes a long way. I made a quarter cup of it, which is half the recipe that's on the back of the bag. I've had the teff in my cupboard for a while, and when I made the recipe for the first time in quite a long time, I made the full recipe, and it was way too much, so I ate it over three days. I decided the next time I made it, I would scale the recipe down because hubby and I decided not to replace our microwave, which means that reheating the teff is quite a long process. I steam it, so it ends up taking the same amount of time, but the texture changes because it kind of like dries out. Not like a porridge, it's more like in chunks and you have to kind of like mix it all together but it never gets to this consistency again maybe if i added water i don't know i haven't experimented with it i decided just to make a fresh batch each time i want to eat it when i started the puzzle i wasn't that diligent about taking photos of it every day so i did add that to my to-do list i just took the photo and lulu has this habit of running in front of the camera when I take photos. Not all the time, sometimes she sits beside me and stares at me. 
I'm not sure why she thinks I'm taking a photo of her when I'm pointing the camera the other way and she's like over here. But today, as soon as I grabbed the camera and turned on the light and started making the motion of taking a photo of the puzzle, she ran onto the puzzle and just plopped herself down in front and started kind of like squirming and making squeaky noises. So I took a photo of her. I did give her a treat. I know I'm reinforcing that behavior, but it's just so cute. And I actually don't mind if she runs in front and poses for a picture because it always makes me laugh but I gave her the treat and while she was eating her treat I took the real photo of the puzzle so I could actually see the progress so unfortunately I don't have a lot of the photos of the in-between from when I did the outline of the circles in the middle of the puzzle. Then there's a relatively big time jump because a number of days passed and it did take me a long time to fill in the circles for the most part, but it looks like it just happened, which it didn't. It was very slow progress. The reason though that I turned on the camera to start vlogging is because the Use Next basket is working out so well that I decided to do a Use Next shelf in my fridge as well. And the Use Next shelf in the fridge is also working out very well. There are of course other perishable items in the fridge that I want to use up. For example, tonight we're having rainbow trout for dinner, but I didn't want to put the fish on that shelf because I like the meat to be on the bottom shelf of the fridge, just in case there are any drippings and things like that. It's easier to clean up, but I know I'm going to use that tonight, so that's okay. The shelf is mainly for things I tend to forget about, so things that get relatively to the back of the fridge. For example, yogurt, I tend to forget about that. And also things that I store in the um, fruit and vegetable compartments. So I tend to forget about berries a lot. I did buy some blueberries a couple of days ago, so I went ahead and transferred them to my used next shelf. And I also moved um, half a lemon that's been sitting around for a while. For lunch today, I am having leftover chicken kotsu roti with some roasted vegetables. The kotsu roti is something that we ordered on the weekend. The portion size is awesome. It's two pounds of food per order. So it actually lasts me three meals. There's only a tiny bit left today, which is why I added the roasted veggies. I do find koto roti quite filling, so it's nice to have the vegetables. And I love, love, love koto roti. I've been getting the chicken tikka one and it's very good. There's a nice tanginess to it and it's nice and spicy as well. That was really satisfying, but I am very hungry today, so I'm gonna have some chips as well. Lately, I've been liking regular ripple chips with a hint of salt. I haven't purchased the regular flavor of chips in ages. I usually like things that are vinegary, but I have been really into this flavor lately. This is actually my second bag in a row. My belly is very happy now and I'm about to do a webinar. These are Mont Blanc calligraphy workshops and what I usually do is I'll download the worksheets and I'll kind of look through them, but I like to have the webinar in the background while I do other things. And today what I plan to do is start setting up my creativity reset in my bullet journal. Here's the dinner I made for tonight. It's rainbow trout and on the bottom it's a bulgur pilaf I guess. I sauteed some onions, garlic, and celery and then I just cooked the bulgur all together with that. Seasoned it with some onion powder, some garlic powder, and some celery salt and hubby says it's really good. That is going to be it for this vlog. Thank you all so much for watching. I think the next vlog I post might be my Cuba vlog, although I am going to record some clips before then, but I don't think I'll have another vlog up until after our trip. I hope you're all having a good start to the new year, and I will see you very soon in another vlog. Bye!